So she'll hop out with 2.30 to go. Carissa Moore locks in. He's got a ton of speed and a lot of options for maneuvers. Lays down a huge carve. Another rapid cutty. Driving off the top again. Finding a sizable wave to work with. She's got some room to belt the fins free and she will oh. sit on that one for the finish. Well, like you at the back, John. Exchange continues. Peterson's going to need a whole lot out of this inside bowl. Starting to bend towards her. Picking her finishing move. Slaps a little two-for-one bonus, fitting in a final maneuver. And she'll be trying to better a 4-0-7. Carissa trying to improve on her high mark of a 6-6-7 with a minute 50 to go. Well, you can say that's a, a no-brainer right there. A bigger wave. Just approached it a lot differently. You, know, you look at the turns on those two sixes and it was kind of short, little flicky turns. That was all rail game. And out the back, that was uh, what Lakey did on the first turn. A bigger set wave, just smooth, clean, carving maneuvers. Now she's got to do some you know, work through the inside. This is what kind of where we picked up the wave. And Lakey did some damage, that's for sure. This is going to get Lakey right back in the mix. And maybe this is what Carissa was waiting for, to step it up. Because Lakey's fired one at her. It's almost like that warning shot across the bow. Hang on a sec, with one minute to go. And this is what Carissa did. I love this opening turn here. It was almost like she might have made a mistake right there, but then corrected it, as only Carissa can do. And now she goes to town through the inside, waiting for that bowl to stand up. I love this turn right here. Waiting for it, and then just timed it perfectly through the tail out. Came out of that nice and clean. What an exchange right there. I'm almost saying that Lakey might get the nod, maybe. Depends on that inside turn. But this is the maneuver I was talking about as she lays it on the rail. Holds it there. The board just wanted to give way, but Carissa just didn't let it. Tapped off a little bit, regathered, brought it back under her feet. Just unbelievable ability right there from Carissa Moore. In saying that, Carissa's about to drop one of the best ways of the day. Are we surprised? Not at all. <laughs> a two-time defending event champ. Won her third world title last year, and she's still paddling really hard because you see a set pouring through. Oh, it's a paddle battle. I love it. Still fighting for position, even though she's got a massive lead. A 9.0 for last of Carissa. 6-8-3 is her low score. And battling with Lakey Peterson to possibly get priority if there was going to be another wave to come into play. Leaving Lakey and Laura comboed right at the tail end. Peterson does have one more wave to lock in. That'll probably break that combo. But Carissa is definitely going to take the win here in heat number five and fly into round three action. Will she make it a three-peat? Here in Maui, we'll be finding out throughout this event. Coming up, the last seat of the round featuring six-time world champ Stephanie Gilmore.